Hey guys, it's Paul with CNL Honey. Uh, we're in Biloxi, Mississippi today. It's uh, November, and uh, we've got a hive here in under this Katrina trailer. And uh, we're fixing to split it open. You can see where they've been chewing. They've been going to the outside of the house. Uh, we're gonna see what we got, and uh, we'll try to rescue these bees. I'm gonna get my hood on. And we'll, uh, we'll open this up. There's gonna be some insulation. We don't know how long they've been here. Might be a small hive, could be big. That one came out and stung me right on the leg. <laughs> Probably not going to be very happy. Not at all. Need to see what how big this hive is, where we can go from there. So it's like a pretty old hive. We got yet comb. There's nothing in there. So, looks like they've been here. A little while. All right, there's, looks like it's going to be from here back to the side of the house. Let's see if I can get some more of this plastic cut. You should be able to expose it. Pretty healthy. Just wonder how far back this goes. I think y'all can see the hive. Do have some honey stores here. I'm gonna try to get these out from this house and rescue these. Looks like they've they've been here a few few times. We've got an open queen cell there, open queen cell here. So they've swarmed once before. So hopefully we'll find a laying queen some larva. Uh, we'll let you know what we got. All right, guys, we're still here in Biloxi. Um, you might not get to see it very well. I'm going to show you what we got. Uh, we're going to start right in here. And uh, I'm going to start taking this comb out. I'm going to start from this end and work that way. That's where most of the bees are. She should be somewhere in the middle. But I'm gonna hand this back to my cameraman. And, uh, we're gonna take some of this comb out. It's not fairly new, but it's brittle. If I hadn't put anything in it, but something they might use later.
tough getting this comb out. Oh, it's just so brittle. They've got honey in it. So, very brittle. Going through two storms around here. So, and uh, I don't know if they got flooded or not. Hurricane Zeta. Zeta. And they got they might have got a little bit of Sally. And as we're doing this, we're gonna look for that queen also. They've got Pretty honey stores. This next frame, we're gonna, we'll, uh, we're gonna keep it. We'll just frame it up. But I need to put this one somewhere. Shouldn't be any drones in here. It should be all gone. It should be picked out. It's November, but it's 80 degrees here in South Mississippi. All I'm using is this knife that we use to uh, cut the cappings off. It's long, works really well. It's kind of in a difficult spot. Honey drifting on me. Never dealt with such brittle cone before. It's just falling apart. So brittle. It's just so thick. Slam full of honey. It's unbelievable. Alright guys, we found the queen. I've got her in a queen catcher and I've got her in the box. And uh, 
what we're gonna do now is try to get the rest of these bees in here and uh, we're gonna frame a couple more we're gonna show you how we frame frame these uh, this wax up uh, in between these floor joys they've got it at an angle I don't know if you can see that but we had video before but uh, it's hanging just below the joist, so I've, I've trimmed it up, and now I'm gonna cut it out, and it should fit just right into our frames. So I'm gonna gently get this one off. We'll see how it goes. Try not to tear the comb up. It's so brittle. And we're gonna, we're gonna frame this up. Yeah, doing pretty good. How you doing? These are pretty calm. If you're not allergic to them, it might not be too bad. If you want to. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. You gonna fix this? You gonna fix this hole? Was it was it a bunch of stuff? There were quite a few. It's been there a little while. And I got under there one day, didn't know they was up there. I like the night I got out of there. All right. I hadn't been on the sound. Step out this way. All right, guys. I'm going to show y'all how we get this on. We got it all trimmed up. And the way they uh, had it shaped in there, it's going to be just right. We're going to keep it upright as much as we can be as gentle as we can. We've already found the queen. So we don't have to be quite as easy. We just don't want to kill too many bees. This one does have some cat brood, some honey, so we'll Get this framed up and we'll put it in the box. Like that. That's how we do it. About four rubber bands on there. And, uh, we'll let them finish working on it. Hi right, guys, Paul again with CNL, and uh, I think we finally uh, got this hive into the box. Uh, it's about noon, and uh, we've still got some stragglers wanting to go back up in that cavity, but uh, we've got the box real close to the entrance, less than two feet. So, and uh, you probably you can't see it. But over here on the entrance, they're fanning, so I will get, I'm going to try to smoke some of them down in there so they go back into the box. But uh, we'll come back either this evening or tomorrow evening and uh, we'll get these bees to a new home.